Welcome back to Witness. Londoner Gautam Lewis has left his comfortable home to make an emotional journey to India. He's taking part in a major campaign to eradicate polio and, desperate to persuade reluctant parents to vaccinate their children, he decides to join mobile medical teams on house-to-house -house visits. As long as one child is infected, polio will continue to thrive. The only way to eradicate the disease is to immunize every single child at least three times. I hope that they can use me to try and persuade this particular mother the value of vaccination and that uh, regardless of her lack of education or uh, uh, state of literacy, maybe she can connect with me. You know? Health workers take Gotam to meet the mother. She lives in a village where many Muslim families suspect the vaccine may be harmful. They use any excuse to avoid it. Can you tell her that I had polio? I was born in Howrah. So maybe I was born in this village. She's a bit upset, I think. That's why I was thinking we can go somewhere away from the crowd. The boy could catch polio again unless immunised, but the mother always says he's too ill. The local health worker is frustrated. Can you help me understand what it is that you are unhappy about the vaccine? I, I, I do understand why you, why you would be afraid, but because I didn't get vaccinated, I have a mobility problem. So when I have children, the first thing I will do is vaccinate them against polio. After half an hour, Gotam seems to be getting his message across. Will you, will you trust me if I was to give him the vaccination? Please? Yeah? You promise? Yeah? Do you want to get the vaccine? Yeah? Ah! Uh, oh, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. That's really, really good of you. As a result of Gotam's efforts, other families came for vaccination. All I wanted to do was just put my arms around her and just give her a big hug and just say, you know what, it's going to be okay. It's polio immunization day. Over 70 million children will be vaccinated. In Kolkata, there are over 1,400 immunization booths all over the city. The local police are bringing in street children to take their polio drops. Gotam joins one of the mobile vaccination teams who go house to house to ensure no child is missed. But many families are resistant. Why do people not want to take the vaccine? Yeah, there, there are a lot of reasons. Some is that uh, the, the few people have some religious beliefs few people have some misconception and people usually believe most in spread of the rumor the rumors the rumors gossip. yeah gossip what sort of rumors do people believe in yeah, somebody thinks that the vaccine given by the government counterpart probably is not of the good quality number one second is that may cause infertility so they're worried about carrying on the family yeah yeah gene. yeah 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 so for them my advice is that that this vaccine is being implemented since 1984 yeah. And the person who have taken this vaccine, they are now become parents. The doctor takes Gotam to a Muslim area of the city, where suspicion of the Hindu authorities has fueled mistrust of the vaccine. Perhaps Gotam can persuade them. <laughs> The neighbors are telling 
that uh, his, her husband is so furious. furious that he will beat her if she allows us to feed polio dudes. Is there, it can, uh, well, we, don't, we don't want you to get hurt. You could tell that the woman clearly wanted to do something. And the difficult thing is being culturally sensitive to where the power lies in this sense, which is the husband's. So she is, her hands are tied behind her back. Even if she wanted to, she couldn't. And the fact that she felt so threatened that he would beat her up if he dared sort of go above his authority. Gotham's more hopeful at the next stop where he meets the Hello. man of the house. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Can we come and talk to you inside? Go on. Go on. Can we? No, no. He's telling that the child who is his brother's child. Is he telling the truth? They just said that to avoid us, they said that this is more not my child. Even the child is sucking milk from the mother. The mother tells he is not my child. So what can you do? Huh? The children were just sort of like a pawn in people's game. There were so many, first of all, he was the father, the brother, the, and then suddenly the children are not even theirs. So what can you do? You can't just knock the door down. This isn't China. You can't just go do what we want you to do, which is... Uh, so you can start to understand why all of these guys are, are grinding away. Uh, and it does feel like a grinding away, but then, you know, third time lucky. Hello. How you doing? Can I vaccinate your child? Can I? Can I do it? Yeah. And this one? Thank you. Gotan's efforts are part of a long-term campaign to win hearts and minds in these communities. He should be a very proud father today, and that I want to thank him. Thank you very, very, very much. Champion. Thank you. Gotem has one more day in Calcutta. Hello. How you doing? Hello, little man. He wants to make sure Amina's son gets treatment at the rehabilitation centre. See the condition of the foot. So now that she's understand <coughs> that it's possible to get help, What's your solutions? Yeah. The solution means now we have to prevent. You can see the feet, how he stands. Will he need a caliper? He will not need a caliper at present. Time. Will he need crutches? He will not need crutches. So you're confident that we with... are confident he will just need a, a plastic AFO with shoes. They're making a mold for the little boy's plaster cast. And you're a little kid, you don't know that this is good for you. You just know something weird's going on. You, you want to help yourself? <laughs> I, have, I have every faith in you to help your child. We've managed to convince some people to vaccinate their children, so that's a great, great feeling to know that you, you could be saving lives. And that child, who could have been me, can now have a much better chance than he might have had had we not met him. Gotam continues to use his story to help the polio campaign in India. I've been thinking a lot about what both of my mothers did for me. <laughs> Although Patricia has given me the best chance in life, so did my original mother. Giving me an opportunity to have a different life that she couldn't give me. I feel quite proud to have come from here. And that certainly put a bit of a closure on one side of my ghost. While polio exists in one country, every country must keep vaccinating, so fighting the disease remains a priority for health organisations around the world. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time on Witness.